Jacob Walker, artist and illustrator. Uh, today I'm showing you a little bit of my process on another one of my Lovecraftian creatures here. Uh, just using uh, brush and ink. You can see me inking over my lines here. Um, what I've done is I've taken a sketch. Uh, I think I blew it up on the copier to get it to the right size for the paper that I'm actually doing the inking on. And I've put it on the light table so you can see the drawing through it. And the drawing is kind of a guide. I kind of add to it and change things as I go. I like working this way because I don't have to erase over all the ink work that I've done. That can kind of take the, uh, I don't know, the shine off of the ink. Makes it look kind of dull and sometimes light. Um, occasionally I'll get started and decide I want to do something a little bit different. And I'll get the pencil out and do a little bit, but for the most part I like working this way also makes it a bit quicker. Um, let's see, what else should I tell you guys? Uh, my ink, I'm using a mixture of Rapidograph ink for tech pens and Speedball Super Black. I like using a 50-50 mix of that. Uh, mainly just because it flows really well it's nice and dense, a good solid black, a little bit more than either one of the two inks seems to be on their own. Um, I think I came across that way of doing it by seeing somebody else's comment saying that's how they'd done it and I tried it and liked how it worked. I usually don't have to go back over spots and hit it a second time to make it a strong solid black. So a lot of this is just going in and kind of wrapping um, shadows and textures and stuff around the forms that I've sketched out. I try and pay attention to line weight as much as possible. That can really kind of help shift your focus from one area to another. Putting a good heavy outline can really draw attention to an area. Uh, Real thin lines can help push things back. Uh, really, your line weight has a lot to do with where you focus. Just like when you paint, you got to be cautious of how you treat your edges. Uh, also, I'm working on Yupo paper. It's supposed to be kind of a watercolor paper that you can erase on. Uh, the way it works is the surface doesn't really let stuff soak in, so you are supposed to be able to go back with water and pull up watercolor, but I've never actually even used it for watercolor. I've just tried inking on it, and I really like how the ink sits on the surface. Since it doesn't soak in, it really leaves like a nice crisp edge, and uh, it scans cleaner and just looks cleaner. And I just like the look and the feel of the paper anyway, so you can find it, give it a try. I really, really like that paper and pretty much won't ink on anything else now. Um, all this video is sped up real quick. I think it took me maybe an hour to ink this guy out. I found that inking goes a lot faster and a lot smoother with a brush. I used to use tech pens and brush pens and everything else and once I started using a brush I won't go back now. I just like the look and the feel of it and the speed. You're able to vary your line weights with it so much easier. It just has a nice flow to it. Not to say I don't ever use a tech pen or brush pen to go back and touch stuff up. I do that sometimes. I use white acrylic paint to go in and clean up little mistakes or to drop in highlights sometimes. So you're probably wondering what this creature is. Uh, Ron Tagoth, I think is how you say it found it in a Lovecraft story. It was actually co-written with another author who I am totally blanking out on right now. But it was described as having this big bulbous body and six arms with crab-like appendages at the end of the arms and 
lots of little tentacles and three eyes. So this is sort of my take on it. I actually haven't read the story yet. Uh, this piece is for a book of Lovecraftian creatures that I'm doing and getting down to the end, so I'm actually kind of pulling from a couple books that I haven't read yet. I just read excerpts on some of these. But I am looking forward to reading this one. So here I am going back in, kind of strengthening shadows and trying to push and pull the focus a little bit to make things uh, come forward or backwards in space as needed. And here I am kind of wrapping up the top of it. Um, I think my video cuts off before I do the eyeballs on the front there, but here's most of it. Uh, if you like the drawing, you can check out more of them on my Instagram and Tumblr feeds or on Facebook. I'll have all that stuff below. If you really like it, I've got them in a book that will be coming out in August. But hope you enjoyed the video, and here's my weirdo monster. Thanks for watching.